Japan is going to be releasing a million tons of nuclear wastewater into the ocean for the next 30 years. And a lot of people aren't happy about it. Yeah, we got to talk about it. This is going super viral in the West as well as the East, especially in the East. And if you have older Asian relatives, they're probably talking about this right now. Long story short, there was a terrible Fukushima earthquake in 2011. It created a bunch of nuclear core wastewater. This is different than regular nuclear wastewater. This is like nuclear core melted into Bet. wastewater. Obviously, Japan, they've been treating it for the last like you know, decade plus. And uh, now they feel like they're out of space. So they got to release it into the water. The US, the UN gave them the okay. But South Korea and China, they do not like it. And this is sparking a ton of comments and really a ton of sentiments, both on a scientific level, geopolitical level and historical level all across the internet. Oh yeah, man. Protests in China, a little bit of harassment going on. People are talking about this because it could affect uh, fishing, everything like that, guys. So hopefully, if you guys are not an expert on this issue, which we know we're not either, but we're going to try to shed some light and add some perspective, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Real quick, Andrew, like you said, we got to stress something, Andrew. We are not subject matter experts on nuclear core waste disposal, okay? I don't know what's more dangerous, the tritium levels or is it the BC-14? The or carbon-14, yeah. Yeah, is there a bunch of other stuff that they're not talking about? Or oh, should we just trust them because Japan is U.S.'s most trusted ally in the region? Yeah, I mean, the uh, prime minister of Japan just ate some sashimi from Fukushima to show that the fish was still okay. Was it convincing? We'll run the clip. Andrew, Fumio Kushida right there. He kind of looks like he's choking it down. He's the... Chewy. Oishi desu. Mm. Yeah, it was kind of like when Bill Gates was drinking that sludge water that got processed from poop. Yeah, the, and then he he takes a sip and he it's like the smallest sip though. Oh man, <laughs> great! It's gonna taste great on Epstein's Island. That's um, water. But of course, Andrew in South Korea, in China, there's everything from protests to outright bans going on right mm. now. So many comments on the internet, Andrew. Does it just have to do with which countries you like more? Because I'll tell you this, Andrew. Nobody really knows the true impact. I don't care who you are. You won't know until 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later. Yeah, I think the whole disposing of nuclear waste into the Pacific Ocean, possibly messing with fishing and the ecosystem and just people's health and animal health, obviously, uh, I think it's a hard thing to convince people of, right? Because even if, even if the science is right, and Japan is right, and these different agencies are are right, that it's not going to affect people that much. Or, or basically they're saying, like, it'll affect people, but, th it's, well, you don't have any, this is still the best choice on the table. Right, they don't have any options. But even if that's true, just people won't like it because they're just like, but, but then I also think, how can other countries team up to help Japan in this? Because they're running out of storage space for the diluted process nuclear wastewater, and right. they have to start releasing it little by little into the ocean or else they just have nowhere to put it. Right, so let's get, break this down real quick. Here's my quick thoughts based off my research. You let, you let me know if I'm right, if I'm wrong, if you're super biased for one side or the other. I'm sure you're going to leave a comment too and try to sway the comment section in, in terms of, you know, because everybody's an expert nowadays. There's a scientific angle, right? Did Japan just simply choose the cheapest choice or was it the best choice? Or was it the cheapest and the best choice? Or was it cheapest and the second best and they did it for cost savings? This is debatable forever, You mean right? uh, the cheapest uh, option for processing the water? Right, right, right. Because there was a bunch. You could have turned it into cement. You could have turned it into hydro steam. But some things took like 50 years. Some things took like 50x the cost. Mm. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Which company was in charge? Was there profitability concerns? Blah, 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 blah. Point number two, Andrew. Geopolitical concerns, right? Uh, Japan is the only G7 nation in, in Asia uh, it once was an enemy of the West, specifically America. Now it's a really good buddy. So people are saying that the U.S. runs the U.N., the U.N. approved Japan, but Japan's been a really loyal member of G7, so maybe that's why it is the way it is, right? Wow. And then there is a historical angle. 
South Korea and China got decimated in World War II by right. Imperial Japan. So they don't trust them. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I understand that Japan has quite the reputation for doing things properly or doing things at a very high quality level. But I must say, I don't really trust them based off what happened 70 years ago. Yeah, like uh, we have to kind of like go along with it because we also like on Team America. But I don't like it. Um, also, Andrew, there's a fourth angle. Do other countries such as China, India, and including South Korea or North Korea or whatever, all the other countries in the region, do a bunch of other polluted stuff too, but just not nuclear waste into the water. Right, right, Like maybe right. do they let it go into the air and the air turns into clouds and then it rains down on the ocean and blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, there's a lot of different perspectives and comments, so we're going to go through them. Hopefully, uh, they shed some light on the topic I'm not sure what the right answer is because I'm not a scientist and I don't really understand nuclear wastewater, but it definitely doesn't sound good. Yeah, and I think that I really want to stress that you don't know what's going to happen either. I don't care if you're a regular tritium, regular nu nuclear waste scientist. You don't know what's going to happen with this nuclear core water. Now, you, I think, obviously, Andrew, if Japan says they needed to dispose of it, they needed to make a hard choice, right? I don't think anybody thinks it's going to be good because a lot of the Fukushima uh, fishermen, they got to get relocated to the other side of the island. Oh, like, you know what I mean? Like even people in Japan themselves are generally refusing to eat fish from Fukushima right now. Okay. So I don't think anybody can argue that this is better than not releasing the water. You can right. just say, did they make the best choice on the table at the time? Right. The best out of a terrible situation. And also, how much do you believe that obviously this is going to affect Japanese people the most out of everybody first and foremost, but it probably still will eventually, if it is bad, affect everybody else. So you're saying, is that is that a good argument though? Because it's like, it's almost like me po uh, p putting poison in my house onto my front lawn and then being like, hey guys, it is my front lawn. Uh, if anybody's plays in the lawn, it's going to be my children first, right? right? And then the other people in the cul-de-sac, which is like, East Asia, I guess, are like, but my kids play in my front yard too. Right, right. So I, I don't know, guys. Uh, you let us know your thoughts immediately in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, let's get into the comment section. Yeah, somebody says, two years later, we have completed the release. We are truly sorry. 20 years later, this was done by something people in the past. It has nothing to do with ne with this now. We are also victims. 50 years later, radioactive wastewater? What radioactive wastewater? There was no such thing as wastewater in history. Uh, this is a commentary on Japan denying uh, past war crimes. And this is kind of saying it's a joke about how they will act in 50 years about this. Yeah, I think that this is a pretty common sentiment in South Korea and China. Yeah, because, uh, you know, that's relatively recent history. You know, everybody remembers it still. Somebody was saying, man, they clearly focused on profit saving. And then other people are like, yeah, why don't they drink the water or use the water internally within their country rather than dumping it? Of course, Andrew, Japan came in. Uh, I'm picking some comments from Japan that defended it. They said that we looked at all five methods. We consulted the IAEA and uh, we ended up picking the right decision because this was the cheapest and most uh, least impactful decision. Mm. And then of course, a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, the Fuching plant in Eastern China and Hangzhou, Suzhou released way more. And there was a Korean plant that released way more. And that just goes into the air and the air turns into clouds and it comes down on the, on the everywhere. And other people said, it's not about the tritium, it's about carbon 14, strontium 20, iodine 129. These things you can't even calculate and Japan won't let South Korea and China analyzed the samples themselves. Andrew, how much of this is just East Asia beef? Um, man, I think there is there 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 is some whataboutism about it, and I, and I think it's very common for people to be like, well, 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 look at China, look at what Korea does. Um, obviously, is Japan under a little bit more scrutiny? because Japan is kind of known as a country. Like, this was such a big disaster. Everybody knew about it. It was uh, global news. And then also, you know, Japan has this reputation of being a good country, doing things correctly, providing all this sashimi and sushi and all this great culture. Right, well, And then now, is it at stake because of the contaminated water? You're saying, is the country in the world most famous for eating fish, and especially raw fish, releasing a bunch of radioactive waste into the ocean causing extra scrutiny and it, concern. It is true that, like, there might be other plants 
or other companies or other uh, countries that have released a lot of contaminated water as well, that it didn't become global news. Right, you're saying that because the, uh, all the information is more transparent in right, Japan. Right, right, Yo, right. Yeah, no, it's possible, it's possible. Somebody said the US and UN to China, everything you did is wrong. The US and UN to Japan, silence, we didn't see it, a double standard. A lot of people mm. were pointing out that basically if another country that was considered against the Anglosphere like had done the same thing, it would be viewed a hundred X worse as somebody that's like up in the, in the, in crowd. Well, wouldn't that be China then? Right. Because so, China's the only country in East Asia that is markedly, I guess, so outside of the English. I guess the question is if, what, if, if, if China did a similar thing, then how come it's not getting more press? Right. It would be demonized. Right. Right. Well, maybe and, it's because, maybe because Japan, we are known to be the good boy and the nice uh, you know, American partner. Right. Japan, you used to be bad, but ever since we did some stuff to you, you've been good, so you earned the most trusted status yeah. amongst us and our buddies. Perhaps you guys let me know if you think that's the case. I don't know. Uh, um, Andrew, let's just get into the comments section. I don't want to, I want to get out of the science. I actually did a bunch of research for this, but it's just not fun to read and there's people going back and forth about chemicals that I don't understand. Um, like I said, somebody says, and folks will still tell you nuclear energy is safe. Anything against natural disasters, nothing is safe against natural disasters. Mm. This turned into a huge debate, Andrew, about the safety of nuclear power power because nuclear power is considered the cheapest most efficient way to deliver power right versus burning coal and other things like uh -huh. that however when it goes downside it goes the most downside yeah yeah i don't know i don't know i'm not it's hard for i'm not gonna lie i don't have an opinion on this one yeah i will say this if you can get clean nuclear power i believe it's actually a really really good thing for the earth but like we said when just stuff happens that nobody predicts it is so bad. Right, right. Um, somebody said, why would Japan, a country that thrives on fishing, poison its own waters? This concern doesn't make any sense. Um, this is from an American living in Japan basically saying, yeah, like we have to trust them because if they cause Godzilla or Mothra or Kaijus or whatever Pacific Rim, it's going to hurt them the most first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, that is, I mean, I think that's the main argument for Japan is like, well, if it is so bad, why would we poison our own people first? Right, but you then know? other people were saying, one, Japan feels like it's disappearing anyway due to population decline. Uh, and number two, Japan has a very unique history with nuclear things because it is the only country in the world that had nuclear bombs dropped on it. Interestingly enough, Andrew, by America. Right, so do you think they're like, well, to be honest, America, you were the first one to make us nuclear so yeah. now we are just making everybody else nuclear yeah i mean this is an argument hey like we said guys these are the internet comments uh this japanese guy says science says is fine separate your hate towards japan from what this actually is um, i mean a lot of japanese people i've been seeing a lot of japanese people and all east asian countries are nationalistic defending themselves yeah i guess where the biggest haters come up obviously if you're american you and you think it's bad, then uh, you're partially like, well, we're pretty far from it. Maybe by the time the water gets to us, it'll be diluted. I just won't eat as much sushi. But then China and Korea, th China does have more political incentive to hate on Japan. It's true. Right. Because it's, true. it's, cause it's uh, I think South Korea in their hearts, they don't like Japan. But, but geopolitically, they're yeah. aligned with America, which is running Japan. Right? right. But I also don't think South Korea loves China either. Yeah, so, right. so <laughs> they, they, there's a lot of it's tough. weird triangles going on in terms of love, hate, whatever, how people feel about people from the old days, the new days, the mid days. Um, this guy said, no more sushi for me. And then a lot of people, Andrew, had a lot of talk about who is going to get the most radiation. Is it the bottom dwellers like some damn flounder and some lobsters or is it going to be tuna because it's the top of the food chain because tuna eats the smaller fish ah. and the smaller fish are going to take a higher dose of radiation do you think this actually has an effect on the sushi industry right now? Probably. I do think in so. Some, in some places, for sure. I, I would imagine that that's the first place you're going to see the most major impact because you're eating fish directly out of the water. Well, but but 
It's true. If you eat mostly farm raised, depending on where those farms are, they're probably pretty far. I know there's tuna farms like in Spain. I think there's like salmon farms and like yeah. around the West Coast of America. So it's like, do you, do you think the European like fishmongers are like getting really excited because they're like, oh, we gotta be charging a premium? Oh, you mean like maybe from Scandinavia or just like, anything well, yeah, getting shipped like, to Asia? All the prices are gonna go up. Yeah, the fish in Iceland is going to be the best and the safest. Yeah. What do you think about all the jokes about Godzilla and kids getting real? tall but having like four uh, eyes soon i don't know i don't know i mean i i, I get, again like it's it's going to be uh uh diluted in its process but it's going to be slowly released into the ocean over the next 30 years now obviously is that better than throwing all of it into the ocean right now and shocking the ocean and not letting it adapt and stuff like that yeah probably but then also nobody knows because movies and science you're just like over 30 years right what something's gonna with somebody some kid is gonna get deformed now maybe japan understands like there is a cost to this and there may be thousands of japanese that are affected but we have to do it right who knows like like we said there's always pros and cons of everything but who's being honest about the pros and cons who's being honest about what they don't know about the pros and cons as well right yeah. um like you said, like it just went just just going back and forth. There was like so many comments I read. Um, somebody said, "Can you please just compose the comparisons of other countries also releasing their radioactive waste into the water? That'd be great. Proper journalism is present and unbiased and needs a full account of the matter. Yeah. How much of the whataboutism is valid here? Uh, I do think, by the way, all nuclear plants release uh, nuclear wastewater with tritium in it, but it's different when it's nuclear core melted water. Mm. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I think it's none of it is good, but are we just talking about what's the worst, right? Right. Yeah. Um, people were bringing it back to World War II, especially a lot of the people from South Korea. They were like, man, this is what happens when a country is powerless geopolitically. I hate this. A lot of people are saying, yeah, we, we, we need to reunify South and North Korea so we can be strong mm. and like have our own decisions uh, on yeah, things. I thought this comment was funny. They said, man, you know it's bad when China starts banning the food from Japan. Yeah, this was some pretty funny be comments. Because like China is banning a lot of the sushi and fish imports from Japan right now. And that's obviously going to hurt the Japanese economy. And yeah, you could say that's also a political move to kind of bully Japan. But is it also a real concern too? Yeah, somebody from India was like, well, we don't even eat raw fish, so this is not our concern. Well, I mean, eventually, obviously the waters, uh, it's shared by everybody. But yeah, I mean, it's true. It's probably going to affect people who are eating raw fish the most. Yeah, is this, is this just a sashimi eater problem? Dang, uh, is this is this ultimately gonna hurt everybody? It, it, I mean, are people only gonna have to eat farm raised stuff? That's a good question, man. Anyway, guys, like we said, there's a million comments that we could just get into, and I think it's always funny, Andrew, when something like this happens. Everybody's an expert. Right. All of a sudden, everybody studied not just nuclear science, Andrew, nuclear waste disposal science, and a bunch of methods. That nobody even did before. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess you guys let me know in the comments down below how you feel about it. And I think really it's like, is it going to affect how you view food from Japan or sushi from Japan from that area? Right. Like, is it going, like, are you worried enough? Now, obviously the amount of nuclear waste they've released so far is probably not affecting a lot of the fish. Although they did say someone i don't know if it's super legit they said they found one fish that had 180 times over the limit of contamination of radioactive contamination in it right. so is that just some foresight into what will happen or was that like uh a fake hoax. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I really think this boils down on a consumer level to which countries do you like the most? And on the geopolitical level, there's a lot of geopolitical alliances. However, I do think there's valid arguments on both sides. It is valid for Japan to say, well, we would be affected the most out of everybody. Mm -hmm. Because it is true that it is on their side of the Pacific Ocean. Could this create, David, the next, the first generation of superheroes? It always got to do something with radioactive something. I mean, literally, this is like the plot to Gojira. Or like Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Or, or even, uh, what was it not, what, what's the other guy in Japan that was really the Ultraman? Yeah. Or, or uh, more likely, honestly, like a Spider-Man type situation, except with like 
fish. Yeah, I was looking into a bunch of stuff out that I never think about, Andrew. Apparently, there was Chernobyl experiences, and it was, there wasn't any, like, gigantic earthworms or stuff, but people did get sick. Mm, interesting. All right, everybody, uh, let us know in the comments down below. We're going to wrap it up right there. Uh, again, man, this is, like, a very complicated situation. I mean, it comes down to science, which a lot of people, we don't know the real science. As, is, are people hiding something? Do you trust Japan? Japan's execution? Uh, do you trust other countries? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I would say that people would trust Japan more than China when it comes to waste disposal, to be That's honest. True. And then, like we said, there's geopolitical alliances. That's a modern thing. And then there's historical beef. Yeah. All right, everybody. We're going to leave it right there. We are the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. <laughs>